This morning, I am pleased to announce that promise made by the PTA, promise kept. Can you guess what it is? <laughs> so last academic year, we had 60 persons, including students, ancillary staff, academic staff, who did the provisional learner's license test and who passed 100%. We want to accelerate that program that is led by Mr. Philip Moan and the PTA is presenting to us a car which means that we will have our students, our staff members leaving Glendale High School with a legitimate driver's license. And so the car is being presented the learn or driver education. So put your hands together as it is presented to us. Today we stand here with tears in our eyes. We had a dream, a dream. When we took office, this was what we said we wanted to do. We had a dream and today we have realized our dream. So the Glenmere High School PTA decided that we wanted to support the driving ed program. A program that we pride. One that is dear to the school. And so this morning we are presenting a 2017 Toyota Passa, fully insured. And we know that you will take care of the car while the car takes care of you. I am so happy to be here this morning, so, so happy. It was just six months ago, we partnered with Glenmuir High, the Island Traffic Authority partnered with the Glenmuir High School to have students and some faculty members take the road code test, which is now a requirement for a learner's permit, which you know you need before you get a driver's license. And I'm so happy that the PTA has committed and has delivered a vehicle which will aid the learning process and so i'm here today bringing greetings on behalf of the director general of the island traffic authority colonel daniel price the director of the road safety unit which is Deidre hudson sinclair and the entire island traffic authority you know we have the maven examination depot as well and uh, that depot is very crucial in the administration of the test and so i just want to ensure that when the students are using this vehicle, that they'll use it to the best of their ability. They'll take care of it, and as was mentioned earlier, the people take care of them, and they'll take care of the vehicle as well. How are you feeling about the program? I'm feeling great. You know, we have this initiative in schools, in high schools, because we have realized that a lot of young people are driving illegally to schools and other places, so they don't have a learner's permit. Uh, we have had fatalities where young people under 17 are dying in motor vehicle crashes, and they were the driver meaning they didn't have a learner's permit or a driver's license because the law says you have to be at least 17. And so we're happy to have partnered with Glenmuir High. We allowed a batch of students and teachers and other members of staff to sit the road code test back in April. And, you know, we were happy with the, the results. And now they have reached the point where they're now eligible to get their driver's license because it takes, you have to wait six months after obtaining that learner's permit under the Road Traffic Act to get your driver's license. And I am happy that the PTA, they have committed uh, they have now um, come forward with a vehicle which will aid in the learning process. You know, they'll be able to get proper instructions without anybody rushing them. They'll be learning a lot of things and I'm sure about that. Not only how to drive, but how to be defensive drivers, how to change tires, how to check the engine, how to check different things on the vehicle and I'm happy about that. And the Island Traffic Authority, you know, we are donating uh, a sunshade, auto sunshade or what we call a sun visor and also a document holder, vehicle document holder, branded vehicle document holder. So that means the vehicle won't be driven, driven on the road without the certificate of fitness, without the registration, without the insurance. And so we're, we're happy for Glenmore High and I'm hoping other PTA across the country will you know, follow suit. When was this school initiative formed? 
All right, so it was started in January and, and York Castle High was the first school to do the road protest. And then other schools, you know, came on board. I've had seven schools today to have, you know, participated in the program and more to come. The aim is to at least have one in each parish so that, you know, persons can, you know, be safe drivers on the road. That's the aim of this initiative. How has the response been? Oh, the response has been good because we're hearing about persons who, you know, wanted a learner's permit a long time and they didn't know how. So the fact that the Island Traffic Authority could take the depot to the schools is a great initiative. It saves a lot of persons a trip to go down there. You know, we have a presentation before they do the test. So we ensure we go, go and we talk about what they need to have on the day. And not only what they need to have on the day, but we're talking about general road safety tips. The, um, the different crashes, the different types of distractions, defensive driving, motorcycle safety. Because our motorcyclists, they are the ones who are leading when it comes to our fatalities. And so we have talks with them before they do the test. And even after, we have a program called the Jamaica Adolescent Learner Driver Curriculum that was developed by a consultant at UNICEF. And that program aims to, to accompany the, the, the curriculum that the schools have. Some schools use the Learner Driver um, Guide, that's the Red Book. Some schools have their own heart curriculum. And so that curriculum um, accompanies that. And we're just looking to hear more great things. I'm excited that we were able to strengthen our partnership with the PTA in providing this well-needed car for driver's education program. Promise made, promise kept, and we feel good about that. When we look at the, the number of fatalities on our roads and our youth dying, um, we feel good that as a school we have been proactive in um, training our students to become um, great drivers and we hope that they will be one of the drivers um, on the road. So I'm excited. Are the students accepting these practices? I am sure that they're quite grateful. Um, our students believe in excellence in all areas. Um, we, they know that we want to lead them into well-rounded students. And this is just one of the examples of the things we do to ensure that when they leave Glendale High School, that they will become worthwhile citizens and ready to take on board. This initiative is very exciting. The program has been in the pipelines since academic year 2018, 2019. Um, prior to when the government announced that they would be starting the initiative, we were hampered by COVID, but we still had it in the back of our minds. When we were clear from COVID, we continued the conversation of the small and the principal um, engagement to say that we need to get it started. Um, we were a little bit slow in getting it started. We had York Castle heading out ahead of us. Um, so that kind of prompted us to start our program here. There were oh, two, or other, two or three other schools who went out ahead of us, but then, you know, through Glenmere fashion, we went big and we went hard. So we currently, we're still the largest testing group. We have tested 65 persons, and we said persons um, mostly because the 65 persons included members of the academic staff, members of the ADSEL staff. The PTA promised us the motors we can have many, many club meetings where questions were asked. Sir, what type of car are we getting? When are we getting the car? All of those things. And the answer to those questions are, I don't know. But today I can tell you the answer to all the questions. It is the belief of the Ministry of Education and Youth that partnerships like these highlight the important role that the PTA plays in the development of schools and the advancement of the students who sojourn there. I know the students here at Glenmere High School will benefit significantly from the driver's ed program and will not only learn the theory but will now get a chance to put the theory they have learned in practice. Glenmere High School has a driving program. When the PTA learned about it, we thought that this was a really good opportunity for us to partner with the school and acquire a motor vehicle so that the students can not only get the theory but the practical aspect of it. With the changing of the Road Code Act, we know that it will cost parents an additional sum of money to ensure that the children go into um, a private driving institution. So when we do this, we are actually helping our parents and helping our students to become holistic 
in their development and as such ensure that we have better driving practices on the road. So we want all our students at Glenmuir or as much of our students at Glenmuir to practice safe road practices on the road. So we thought that this was a good opportunity. When we sat at the beginning of the school year, we looked at what it is that we wanted to achieve. And this was what we saw. It's a big item, but we thought that why not do this for a school that is the only school in Canada that has a driving education program and a school that has been doing so excellent. As a past student myself, we're celebrating 65 years and we are creating a lot of waves in this country. And so the PTA is adding to the wave in the 65th year in ensuring that this the driving program has a motor car that the students can practice with. Honestly, I personally consider it a privilege. Um, I'm a person who loves driving. So to be a part of this initiative is really a privilege in my regard. And to be a person who is spearheading this project, I personally believe this project is something that can save lives and I'm truly overjoyed that I'm able to support you in the Why you went to the Well, I was invited because um, I have my license. I got my license when I was 17. I was before the New Traffic Act. And uh, Mr. Mohan thought I was qualified to also be the team's of Tell us about recruiting other students upon board. How is that going? Well, so far it's been good. Our responses have been great. A lot of persons are enthusiastic about driving. So we have really focused on persons who are close to the age of 17, of course, because they're the only persons qualified. And uh, we have made posters, we have also walked around classrooms, publicizing, and that's uh, the responses have been really excellent. Everybody is enthusiastic. What we're looking at down there is a perfect example of a well engineered car. It is the best possible car that we could have. The paint job is perfect. The tires are perfect. The rim is perfect. The interior is the best. Liana, do me a favor. Open the bus, open the car door for me. Open the driver's side, please. Just, just do the horn for me. One more time. That sounds like the best car horn in Capitals. On behalf of the drivers at Club, we just want to say thank you. A huge, huge thank you for this kind gesture. It means so much. And the program is growing so exponentially fast because we, are, we have now outgrown our head office. The head office for the club meeting is on the end of the block there, the Autocad Lab. We don't have enough space for the number of persons who are in the club. So we are growing pretty fast. The fatalities have been decreasing. You know, 315 deaths this morning when compared to last year, that's a 15% reduction. Uh, it's 315 lives too much, but we're happy to see that it's not trending high. We're happy to see that it's going down. And we just want persons to be safe on the roadway. You know, keep your vehicles safe, um, adhere to the speed limit, wear your protective gear, look out for other road users because road safety begins with everyone. How do schools come on board? All right, so schools who are interested in this initiative can email uh, DITA at mtw.gov.jm or rsu, rsu at mtw.gov.jm or they can visit our social media pages Island Traffic Authority on Instagram, Facebook or Road Safety Unit on Instagram and Facebook or Twitter as well or they can give a call at 754-1900